it's Marina from Say Something Crafty. I'm here to do another journal share with you. This journal is another Halloween journal and it is, um, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to start with this boho bead that's on the side here. And it's one of my larger, well not larger really, it's more of my longer one. I'm so bad at this. Okay, there. Um, it's one of my longer ones. I don't usually make super long ones, but I just decided it would be a good idea for this one. And I have this really pretty tassel that I made with some creepy fabrics. I'm creepy looking. This like, this is actually Halloween fabric that I got from like a Halloween decoration and took it off and put it on here. I think it's so pretty. I got this like a year ago. And then I put some hand dyed sari ribbons, not sari, I say sari so much, um, so, uh, seam binding, hand dyed seam binding. And I do have some sari ribbon here that I haven't dyed at all, it's just some white. And then this, this one right here. So, super pretty. Um, this one I combined paper and fabric on the cover, which I really like, it's super pretty. And there's this really long lace here. That I put on here. I was nervous about it but I really like how it turned out and at first I was thinking maybe I should put some charms down here at the bottom of these and I didn't want to overdo it but if you decide to purchase this journal and you're here for my YouTube channel you go to my Etsy for my YouTube channel and you decide you want some charms down here or something dangling let me know and I'll put them on the tips of these. I'll put something on here for you. Just let me know that's the inside and this is actually like really pretty it doesn't really look like I don't know I can't think of the word to describe it right now but I'm just gonna move on so I have these mats here and it's just a tux or a pop I just clipped it on and I use different stuff from my stash um, stuff I've been hoarding a while, and I also have my altered paper bags and envelopes in here. I think there's an envelope in here. There better be an envelope in here. Yep, there is. And this I made a while ago. A oh, while. It's been a while. Okay, so this is a mini envelope that I made. Look, I have this, or sorry, file folder, mini file folder. I have this envelope punch, and no matter how I use this envelope punch, it does not punch the envelopes the proper way. The only thing good that I've ever gotten from that envelope punch out of all the stress that was caused by that envelope punch board was this beautiful was these beautiful little mini envelope or file folder things that I can make with them I don't know what I was doing I think I got like the wrong version I got an older version and they fixed it and they have a new one now but I'm just so traumatized from the old one I don't want to buy it so I'll just get regular envelopes <laughs> but um because in my head I was just going to make a bunch of envelopes because I had an envelope punch board. It didn't work out. Anyway, uh, I did get some beautiful little mini file folders out of it though. This being one of them. And I just decorated it. So. Um, I will have a, a tutorial, by the way, um, on how I did these. And it's just like, shows you everything I did for my, not all of them, not all of them, but I did, I do do a few with you and show you um, some ideas of what you can do with your paper bags and envelopes if you want to do that for Halloween. I just tied this on here. I thought it was cute. And then just a tag. Um, some ephemera that I stapled on. And then here's one of my favorite envelopes that I made. So cute! Isn't it adorable? It's so adorable. This is my favorite. It's, I don't know why it's my favorite. It's just my favorite. I think it's, it's just adorable. I don't usually do cutesy Halloween, but, you know, it doesn't bother me like it used to. And it's just got, like, a torn up piece of paper in there, coffee dyed paper, and then some envelope, or not envelope, some ephemera. I'm going to put this back in here, and it's going to be a struggle watch. This is my OCD right now. I, you wouldn't think, I don't think I have OCD until this stuff happens. And I have to get it in here. And it's going to drive me nuts if I don't do it. Just certain things, I guess, that bother me. But yeah, there we go. We're good. We're good, guys. Thanks for waiting. 
Okay, sorry. Um, I have um, another um, cute image. This is so cute. It was one of the cutouts from, I can't remember the paper collection, but um, it's so cute. I'm definitely more susceptible to cute stuff since I had a daughter. I don't know why. And here's another one, the other side of the paper bag that I put in here. And it's got some more ephemera and cutouts and printed, printed items. I have this little thing here that I did. I just have this, it was a, a die cut. This is a die cut and I just tied this around it and glued it down. I think it's so cute. And that's the back. And these little things are skulls. It's so cool. But if you like lift this up, you can actually see that these are skulls. It's so pretty. I was worried it was going to be too busy, but I really like how it turned out. It's like, kind of, I don't know what to call it. Like shabby, chic, creepy. I like it though. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I will be back soon with another video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.